A new star system alpha 3.24 PTU patch just launched for Evo Cardi. And this time around, they have a few new updates. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, so this one, um, CIG did mention through the message of the day that they're going to do a coordinated test with Evo Cardi for this patch as we speak of right now. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to try to get everybody to spawn at the same uh, landing zone. This way, I guess all the players can interact with their hangers and just to see how the system works. So that's going to be interesting. Um, also, in addition to this, they plan on doing a tech preview uh, this coming Friday. I believe it's going to be for Evo Cardi as well. Um, this tech preview is going to have the same 3.24 build, but this time around, they're going to be changing um, a messaging queue system. So it says here, a uh, replication message queue uh, networking update, and it's going to replace uh, the MMQ. I'm not exactly sure what the name, what that is, but what it is, is it's supposed to um, prep their system for server meshing, and it helps address uh, bottlenecking um, in terms of networking. Okay, so um we're gonna have to see how that goes hopefully it all goes well um it would be fantastic if they did it with uh wave one testers i would love to see that but uh i don't think it is um so this one server meshing won't be enabled on in that build but uh, they want to focus on the single shard for that tech preview test okay all right so let's get into this new patch all right so with this patch um testing focus remains the same as we expect they made an update for gameplay uh, features. Okay, so, so it says here they bumped up many hauling mission reward payouts after design decisions and community feedback. So it looks like the rewards will actually be a lot better. Hopefully it's a lot better. Hopefully it's worthwhile um, doing cargo missions. I want it to be lucrative because um, it's just not really that exciting. Um, so think it's uh the extra money will help with the border <laughs> all right so they have a few bug fixes for this one they fixed an issue where cargo hauling missions do not give reputation they fixed another issue where it's difficult to select or choose a floor on the elevator panel in grimhex clinic elevator they fixed an issue where it's possible for the retrieve button to become grayed out on the fleet manager kiosk in personal hangar after a vehicle is cleaned up at the same time as the vehicle is being retrieved interesting cleaned up what does that mean we'll have to see when it comes out uh, they fixed an issue where mining laser gimbal is always fixed they fixed an issue where no sound effects in the cockpit um i i believe this is for multiple vehicles they fixed an issue where elevated door missing causes player to fall through planets interesting along with this is two client crashes and two server crash fixes before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.